everybody and welcome to another thrifty thursday and i overspent in fact this was the highest costly thrifty thursday i have ever done and why did i spend so much money well let's get started right into it i bet about four times this year i went over my five dollars and this time I spent $12. How in the world could I spend $12 at the Thrifty Thursday thrift store? Well, I think you're going to enjoy what I got. It was such a fun day. And I had a $20 bill. And I went and I found some things. And I thought, you know what? It's Christmas time. So this is my Christmas gift to myself. And it's very unique items. And let's get started. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin because some of these items you're going to be like, why did you buy that? But a lot of you have been watching my videos for a long time and I think you know a little bit about the things that I like. <laughs> well everybody, this is my first Thrifty Thursday find and I paid $2.50 for it. As you know, I love gingerbread anything gingerbread and I thought she was real cute she's not a stuffed animal she's not something you put on your bed she has a hard wooden block in the back of her and you're supposed to set her on a shelf or at a door so she's a door stopper isn't she just darling <laughs> anyhow I feel good keep her up all year round I just fell in love with her and for two dollars and fifty cents she was mine so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put her over here. And then I got a lot more unique items. It was just so much fun. I got two Christmas cards at the post office and I thought they were adorable as well. So we're going to just put them right here. All right, so here we go. ceramic but they look real primitive as you can see my home is all wood paneling I love the cabin the primitive look I think it just goes really great with the way my house is so I got two of these they were a dollar each I'm gonna put some of the candles that Owen gave me and those are vintage candles I have so many projects that I gotta work on this week because Christmas is soon gonna be here for a dollar fifty I bought this. It is under the vintage items. I don't know if it was handmade, but it kind of looks handmade. I know it's rather silly, but I'm going to make something with it, and it's not edible. I can't wait to share with you what I'm going to make. His face is very unique, but for $1.50, it's another gingerbread, and I'm going to call him mine. <laughs> Then for 25 cents each, I got these. And they are great for when I make my bath fizzies. So I make a cleaning item and it's a fizzy. You can use it for your laundry. You can use it for your toilet. You can use it for dishes. It's amazing. And I have a lot of videos on them. But I love the little buttons. So this is a great because it's not so big. I'm going to be making them this week as well. So I was really happy for these. And then I got something that's going to last me for a lifetime. And they were $1.50 each. As you know, I have my little Christmas tree. So they're my little Christmas trees from the Dollar Tree. These are perfect to put around my little Christmas tree. So they had this one. And they had this one. Isn't that, isn't that precious? And it's primitive. It's my style. I couldn't believe the stuff I found. Then I got these, also vintage. Now I did pay $1.50 for it, but isn't that, isn't that so neat? So the jar toppers for Christmas gifts. Well, you guys know I made all of that jelly. This would be perfect to make as Christmas gifts. And then last but not least, because I'm making my cinnamon ornaments, I have to make them yet today, and that will be a video coming up next week. 
I got these small cookie cutters for $1.50. So I got some really small cookie cutters to make my cinnamon ornaments to go in my tree. And then, for 25 cents, I got this star. Wow, I spent all that money, and that is really unusual for me. But you know, it's nice to do things once in a while for yourself. And these are items that will last me a lifetime, because I'm going to cherish them. I did go to the Dollar Tree, because my daughters go there, and I'll show you what I got. As you know, I'm really trying to watch my spending. But my Thrifty Thursdays, I really enjoy making these videos. Plus, YouTube pays me, because I make a video on it, and so I do get my money back from it, usually. So here you go. I thought this was so unique. And like I said, it's going to be another video of a craft that we're making. Look at them. Look at them. Peppermint spoons. I've never seen this at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if it's new this year, but peppermint spoons. I got two of them. How precious is that? I'm going to make this in an edible gift and an unedible gift. I can't wait to show you with that. And then I got these two. These are spray bottles for a project I'm working on as well. Really cute purse size spray bottles. They're great to make something with. And I can't wait to share with that with you. And I wanted to show this because I told you last week's video that you can get some candle scents for only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And this is the cherry one. This is the cherry one. So you can use this in all kinds of things. Now I wouldn't use it for anything that is cosmetic, but you can use it for things like potpourri. You can use it for soap if you're going to use it not on your body, but like laundry soap. This is amazing. And this is cherry and it smells just like the high end oil would. So you can use this in, in your diffuser, you can use this on all kinds of things. And I'm going to be using this to make candles. So I wanted to share that with you that you don't have to buy the expensive candle scents. You can just go to the Dollar Tree and get this. Also I'm going to be working on a craft with pine cones and we'll use this with that. Well there you go my friends. That was my Thrifty Thursday and it was quite a trip. And I really want to thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for enjoying these Thrifty Thursdays, because I will admit to you, they are my favorite video to make. Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, I do believe I was lacking on Fanny's diary, so let's start with December the 1st. Fanny writes, today was a stormy cold day. Marion had some teeth filled. December the 2nd, Fanny writes, I finished Anna Mae's dress. December the 3rd, Fanny writes, Today I washed my hair and did some sewing in the afternoon. And on December 4th, Fanny writes, Once again I'm sewing. Marion and I were at Lancaster. Daddy was cutting some wood. And Martin Grove was here. December the 5th, 1943. Harold is feeling better. He finally came downstairs. Harold was their work hand who had pneumonia. December the 6th, 1943, Peter and I helped in the kitchen at Henry Garber's wedding. December the 7th, 1943, Fanny writes, Everyone was here. Today we butchered the beef. It weighed 747 pounds. It was quite an undertaking, but I'm so glad that we got it finished. I hope you enjoy these entries of Fanny's diary. As you know, Fanny was just a homemaker and a wife. She didn't really talk a lot about history and the world events. She was more focused on her life, on her farm life. She never dreamed that this diary would be read for thousands to hear. I realize I have some new people coming to the channel and listening, so I want to explain a little bit. Fanny was my husband's grandma and I took care of her until she died. And she was my closest friend for many years of my life. At age 16 I got married and she was a sole support of me and helped me and guided me so much. You're going to see here where Fanny is before she joined the church. At age 16 every child was expected to join the church and when that happened they had to give away all of their worldly goods. 
So they got rid of their jewelry, got rid of their fancy dresses, and got rid of all of those things, and they had to join the plain church. So as you see in this next little video, this is Fanny, and this is after she joined the church, and this was right after she became 16 years of age. And that is how she dressed up until her death, and she died at age 93. And now I'm going to show you Fanny the way I remember her. The next little video you're going to see here is Fanny at our wedding day in 1987. This is how Fanny looked up until the day she died. And this is what I remember Fanny looking like. And there behind her is just one page of her diary. I really miss Fanny. Fanny is someone who I will always remember and always cherish.